In this video, I want to share how I use the GTD method to stay organized in Evernote. GTD stands for getting things done, and it's a famous methodology developed by David Allen. Evernote is this great note-taking app that syncs across devices and keeps all of your stuff organized in one place. So to get started, we'll navigate over to Notebooks, and here on the corner, you can create your new notebook, name it, and decide whether it's going to be private or shared. Think of notebooks in Evernote the way we think of folders in our computers. You can group them together by dragging one over the other and creating what are called stacks. So the stack that I use for getting organized is called Tasks, and it has two notebooks inside, one called action pending and one called completed, which is the one that I use in case I want to save anything that I'd like to reference later. Once you create your action pending notebook, just click over to settings to make sure that it's set as your default notebook so that every note you create gets saved directly there and make sure it syncs across your devices as well. So to finish the setup, I right click or control click the stack and then add it to my shortcuts bar so I can have access to it easily up at the top. Now my favorite feature of Evernote is the ability to create and add tags to organize all of my notes. To create a new one, just click on the new tag button on the left hand side and type in the name. So as I'm going about my day, anytime a new action or idea pops into my head, I create a new note and type into the title of the note the to-do item, for example, email my band about scheduling percussion day. And then in the body of the note, if there are any details I need to remember, I write those in as well. Notice that it got saved over here in the action pending notebook. And when I go over to the tags field, I can begin to type the name of an existing tag and it will show up for me. And if I type in a new tag that I just thought of and hit enter, that will save as well. So here's where GTD comes in. I can use the tagging system to organize my notes or to-do items in any way I like, by project, location, people that I'm working with, you name it. But the key for me is being able to also tag according to when I plan to tackle each item on my list. Those are the tags that begin with numbers, which are only there to help me type it all a little faster. Zero stands for the heap. That's where anything goes as soon as you've thought about it. All of your ideas, to-do items, errands, just tag them right there. One says now, which for me means stuff that I plan to tackle today. Two says next. Three is soon. Four is anything that I want to do this week. Five is anything that goes into next week and beyond. Six is for tasks that are waiting for something else to happen first before you can get to them. Seven is for stuff that I want to do someday and just don't want to forget about. And then eight is for all of my ongoing tasks and projects. Those are my most important tags and I've added all of them to my shortcuts bar. Now let's return to that note, tag it zero, and then we can close it. Now if I navigate back up to the heap, there it is up at the top. Here I can scroll down and see every note that I've tagged zero throughout the week. Now to get organized, what I do is open up another note in which I've created a weekly view for myself, just using a simple table, nothing fancy. And there I write in all of my appointments, my workout routine, anything I need to see. So I come back over to the heap view and I can begin to look at my tasks and see where they can go inside my week. That first one is going to go on Monday, so I add a little checkbox and type it in. Next, I navigate over to the note and replace the existing tag with the new one that I want. Now here's something I always do on Wednesdays, so I'll type that in there, then come over here, re-tag it, and then let's say I'll charge my April fees on Tuesday so I can re-tag that one as well, and then type it into my weekly view. So here's my completed week after I've sorted through everything. You can see new appointments and all of the different to-dos sorted into the correct weekdays. So when we navigate the tags, you'll see that my heap is now empty and 
I can navigate through the different lenses of when I need to do something or through the categories of the different projects that I'm working on and even the type of errand that I'm running. I personally like to look at both the week view and the individual tasks. So when I complete a task, I come over here and check it off. And then if I don't need the notes information for anything, I go ahead and delete it. As plans change, if I need to move anything around, I can always just re-tag it and then move it over to a different day of the week if I want. So that's how I like to use Evernote and GTD. Hope this video was helpful for you.